Hi, I'm Marlene Potts from Balloon Masters in Buffalo, New York, and I want to talk to you a little bit about balloon stuffing. I know there's a lot of new people out there. A uh, little bit about me, I've been doing balloon stuffing for 30 years. That's how I got in the business. I make a lot of money doing balloon stuffing. I've done hundreds of thousands of balloons, and I see a lot of common things going wrong and people getting frustrated with their machines, uh, whether it's a classic machine or a man-made machine or handmade machine. So let's talk a little bit about neck break breakage right now. One of the most common things about neck breakage is long fingernails. If you have long fingernails, it is very hard, especially if you're stretching balloons uh, by your fingers and you don't have a balloon stretcher, to do stuffed balloons. Um, that's one of the number one reasons. I mean, it could be your cuticle, anything. Number two is uh, the age of your balloons. You could be buying from dealers where they're sitting around. Um, unfortunately, Qualitex is the only one that puts a date on it that's very clear when it was manufactured. But you also have to worry, was it stored correctly? That type of thing. If you're really having a lot of trouble, um, chances are your balloons are old. But that being said, after you learn this tip or trick. So I want to talk a little bit about balloons. When you do a floral tube, if you're lucky enough to have one, I suggest 17 inch hearts or 11 inch hearts. This is that. This is a Sempertex or Batalic neck up 18 inch stuffing balloon made specifically for stuffing. This is a Qualitex 18 inch neck up stuffing balloon made specifically for balloon stuffing. And this is actually a three foot balloon, not made for balloon stuffing, but can be used. And we'll talk a little bit about that. What I want to tell you and what I see being done is that people put their balloon on the, the stretcher or their fingers and they just stretch it. And what happens when you put it then in the machine is you don't, you're not on the bulbous side and you're gonna push and put stress on your neck. And you can't do that. You really want to, whether you're doing it with your fingers or on the stretcher, put your fingers, walk your fingers in there, all four of them, and stretch your balloon. You don't have to warm them up. You don't have to do anything special like that. You just have to have the strength to stretch them. And to be honest, some of you are new, you're not gonna have that power yet, but after you do some, you'll build up that muscle. Um, there is a difference, a little bit different, depending if you have a homemade machine or a, a professional machine, what balloon is going to work best for you. Qualitex has a little bit thinner neck, um, not quite as large through here, but very bulbous on the bottom. Sempertex or Vitalik has a nice thick ring right here, a little bit thicker through here, not quite as bulbous here. This is a little bit better for um, a handmade machine, and these are better for professional machines. Um, so even when you use your stretcher, you want to make sure that you really push the neck down so that you get into the bulbous part. So when you stretch it, and you put it on your machine. So you look at, I already got a better opening. And now when this inflates, it's gonna inflate like this, I won't have the neck in there, okay? This also holds true when you're using your floral tube. Whether you're using a small floral tube, I'm getting my fingers right in that heart and I'm stretching it over the tube, okay? If you use a stretcher, put it on that stretcher and make sure you get in there because you want your flower to end up here in this part. You don't want it to end up in the neck. You want, you're filling that heart part, right? Um, I don't suggest using, and you don't need to use this type of balloon on a floral tube. You can use a standard 16 inch, although they don't inflate very well and they get cloudy. So I suggest the hearts, the 17 and 11 inch, um, or believe it or not, even an 11 inch balloon will look better than a 16 inch balloon with flowers inside of it. It looks a little smaller, a little bit more in proportion. Now, a lot of people ask me about three foot balloons um, and 24 inch, they can be used, but they're not made for this. So you still have to get your fingers in there. You have to have some serious strength to do this. And although I can do it, I actually have my wonderful husband do this for me. Um, and you can stretch this over your machine and it takes some work. Obviously much easier with a balloon expander. And I do suggest getting a balloon expander. You can buy these separate. They're maybe a hundred, $125 US um, because it just saves your fingers and makes things easier. So you can see that I crawl that up there and I'm gonna use my strength, right? And then I'm gonna put that on the machine. Now, when you use a bigger balloon like this, you're always gonna end up with some neck here, but that's okay. As long as you're not gonna rip it 
as long as you've got it all bunched up right here. The next thing, and the very last thing I want to tell you about is a skirt. Now, if you have a professional machine, everybody has a skirt. If you've never seen a professional machine, you don't know what this is. I see a lot of people doing it with Home Depot drums. This is a piece of um, Tyvek material. It's not cotton, it's actually Tyvek. And it goes around the top of your machine, and once you inflate the balloon, you stick this material through so that when you're putting your hand in and out to put your little balloons and your teddy bears and wine and all that kind of good stuff, you're not, your, your watch, your ring, anything, isn't going to catch on the neck of the balloon. So I really suggest making this, it's like a little garter. If you have a homemade machine, this will really, really help you with that. It also helps with static. So I hope that these little tips helped you in some way out there. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them below. I usually can get to almost everything and stay tuned for some more. Thanks so much. Bye now.